the world's greatest multi-tool. That's my topic today. I picked this spot because it's open. Today it's really dark, cold. Look, looks like it might rain. If it does turn to full-on rain, I might have to go hide in a rock overhang a short distance from here. But we'll see how it goes. It's been a while. I miss you guys. Time goes by. It's one thing after another. So I decided when I got up this morning to make some time to get together and go over the world's greatest multi-tool. So let's get into it. So if I say multi-tool, what comes to mind usually? For most people, multi-tool probably means to them a pair of pliers and then somehow in the handle you have different tools. And that's great, that is multi-tool. When I was growing up we didn't have those. What we had was Swiss Army knives and the many copies. There's no pliers, <coughs> but it's still a multi-tool. This I would say you have your main blade, then got a minor blade, and that's good. Because what my grandfathers used to do, my father, where well this would be their normal everyday use blade, heavy use, everyday use. But then, this would be the blade that they reserved for when they needed something really sharp. Okay, it's small. But if you need a sharp knife, it's probably not for a heavy task. What do you need a sharp knife for? Some different tax, tasks, uh, detailed work. Uh, could even be, technically I think it's surgery, like uh, not recommending this for other people. I'm just saying uh, if, if I have a wound with like a flap of skin, getting infected I want to open it up you have a sharp knife you, you don't want a dull knife <laughs> if at all possible all right but it's good to have a tool particularly a knife razor blade exacto knife something like that but also also other fine tasks you want a sharp knife so you reserve this and just use it carefully and delicately and then you, you put it away it's not the everyday use when you need something sharp, then you have it. You also have Phillips screwdriver, standard screwdriver with a cap lifter, bo uh, bottle opener. Can opener and small screwdriver that fits on Honda motorcycle carburetors for the air mixture screws. At least the outside ones on a four cylinder. The inside one might be a little bit more of a challenge. It's a good can opener, really sharp, makes fast work of a can. And you got tweezers and toothpick. Not bad. You can even uh, clip it to something. Clip it in your pack, inside your pocket. So you don't lose it. Great stuff, but no pliers. Here's my world's greatest multi-tool. Notice I said my, it's designed for me. It's a system I developed for myself over the years. Yours could vary. World's greatest multi-tool. What do I need with me every day? Talking about daily use. So I know the definition in people's minds, multi-tool, to them means all of them connected into the one Swiss Army knife or the Leatherman tool. So here I have multiple tools. Oh, it's not a, a multi-tool. Well, 
this is what works for me. Small pair of vice grips. These are made in the USA. Now I understand they're made in China. One of my friends, Peddler. That's the name he goes by anyway. He always used to carry a pair of vice grips and a knife sheath. And it was just so handy. People looked at it, thought it was a knife, a buck knife. That's what we called it. I realize Buck Knives is a brand name, but back in the day, New Hampshire, Maine, folding knife of that size is called a buck knife, no matter the brand. <laughs> but it fits an old knife sheath. Fits in there real comfortably now. Was tight at first, but being caught in the rain, and yes, even my sweat soaked into this, and the heat of my body, and getting wet, and then drying out eventually leather molds itself so now it fits in there really well and I need locking pliers one thing I often need to do along the trail is loosen the rear axle on a motorcycle in order to tighten the chain and it's usually impossible with non-locking pliers your normal multi-tool even if the jaws open up big enough which usually they don't but even if they did you don't have the torque with this I can get up to an inch or so a little bit more I think and actually get the torque I need to get get an axle nut off the motorcycle or loosen it for the chain adjustment but also I can do more fine work really rusted on uh, fasteners brake lines things like that very handy I, I might go for this even if I was in my garage, my whole tool chest and the, the fastener is stripped but I can get it off of this very often and it has uh, wire cutters, these are designed for uh, heavier gauge wire but still, it's on there what else can I do? Okay, I made it almost like part of the same tool stretching the definition of multi-tool but still and this becomes the handle for your screwdriver bit and I can get a lot of torque with that a lot more than your standard multi-tool you could even put it 90 degrees like that and then you have the torque and I've even on rare occasions hit this with a hammer or something hammer-like in order to get some impact to get something off that really doesn't want to come off like it's in a uh, steel engine block but the, the case around that's aluminum and uh, through an electric process is get it like almost welded on there but I need some impact I've even done that even on the trail it's just a lot lot better and these wear out like all screwdrivers wear out they're not magical it wear out, it wears out. I toss that one, I get another one. I put the new one in here and I'm good to go. And these are really rugged. I've had this one for years and years. But if I did break it, I get another one. I'm not ruining the whole system. So now let's uh, talk about the knife blades of my multi-tool or multi-tool system whatever you want to call it I have a fine use blade and I know I picked this out of the trash doesn't that look beautiful I even dressed up the sheath a little bit I got some glass beads and uh, wound some copper wire around there that's gorgeous but save that for fine use keep that one sharp And this is what's commonly known as a flea market knife. Piece of junk, plastic handle, just one piece of metal going through there, not even metal on both sides. I've had this for so many years and beat upon that thing. 
and cut open tin cans to make hobo stoves and, and all kinds of things. Use this as a metal saw or even and it just keeps holding up but who cares? I think it was uh, two dollars and I know flea market knives are made fun of. Some are just junk s steel. Some of the steel isn't too bad and a plastic handle while it weighs so little it's almost ridiculous and people make fun of them but here's the thing back in the day pocket knives were seen uh, almost as magical and had a couple ancestors and in this particular case I'm thinking about with my ancestors that one bought a sizable piece of property from the other one and one was native and the other one was mostly European though it could have been part native but uh, the one had a pocket knife not like this an older style but still had a pocket knife and it was just so amazing and almost magical because people haven't seen that sort of technology in the new world and he, he uh, traded the knife for the big piece of property and today we might say oh he, one guy was cheating the other guy but that was just the coolest thing and stone knives yeah those are great they can be really sharp but here's the thing New Hampshire and Maine uh, they didn't have the good stone they had to trade with an actual hostile tribe usually hostile <laughs> but they did do some trade um, so then when Europeans started to come and had metals you know better than copper uh, that was great so now this this is better than a lot of things my ancestors had and they would have thought it's the coolest thing and, and I think it's a uh, good uh, rough use blade you, you need two well it's good to have two you can make can make do with one. It's good to have one for rough use everyday tasks and another one for your fine tasks where you try to keep the blade uh, not dinged up. I like to keep the blade nice. So if you have those two it's a, it's a good everyday system and over time you know I, I get a knife I like better for fine use had this in for a long time this could turn into the rough use blade you know it's just uh, what you decide so what about a wood saw you have multi-tool might want a wood saw that works pretty good the serration on the blade some people don't like serrated blades they're hard to sharpen I never sharpen them I bought this for two dollars. I want to say I've had it 15 years. When do I get my money's worth? So if the blade was dull today and I couldn't sharpen it, I could just heave it. The disadvantage with the serration on the blade using it as a wood saw is that the blade of course is tapered. So you saw a little bit and it will bind up because the, the blade's getting thicker and thicker as you go down. So saw blade. There we are. And what do you use for a handle? There you go. Pretty simple. Alrighty, first Leatherman with the wood saw. I'm impressed with the whole thing. Now the homemade system.
world's greatest multi-tool. Just to recap, that would be the system that works for you depending on your daily chores and the habit that you have, the way of doing things that you have going throughout each day. And then when you're on the trail or camping, what you do, the skills you have. I have a lot of mechanical skill. If I'm out on the trail and a vehicle breaks down, I can likely get it going again. But what skills do you have? I have very limited medical skill. Perhaps you're advanced. And therefore, there would be things that you would want with you on the trail that I wouldn't even dream of or maybe even know of. Everyone's an individual, world's greatest. Well, th th there's a different one for every person. And you have to find it for yourself. I came into carrying ice grips and a double sided screwdriver bit simply because I'd walk across the lot and want to do a simple task and not have a screwdriver and how do you carry a screwdriver you know carry a Phillips screwdriver you get there you, you need a standard one so you're going to carry two full-size uh, screwdrivers and then, then they came out with the, the system where you have uh, six different bits on a screwdriver that was great but still it's really large and I had been carrying a buck knife in a sheath then then they came out with the pocket clip knives so I was used to carrying the sheath anyway it just felt normal put the pliers there with the uh, screwdriver bit clip a knife to my pocket and I'm good to go but where it's socially acceptable I'm not going to carry it now to an interview in an office you know some polite place or definitely not an airport oh my goodness but uh, a fixed blade with a good edge on it for more fine tasks it's good to have but anyway that works for me it's my world's greatest multi-tool multi and what works for you. If you haven't found it yet, start thinking. Start uh, practicing doing different things along the trail. Uh, spend a lot of time in the great outdoors. Do what you love to do. And try to narrow it down. Narrow it down to the least number of tools. But you don't want something that's a novelty that's just fun to look at but not functional. At least, well, that's my philosophy again. But you will find out what works for you. It's warming up. The sun's coming out. Never did rain. It's shaping up to be a wonderful day. And I hope that you have a good day today. Thank you for joining me. I'm bringing this video to a close. So I'd like to read from John chapter 9. Verse 31, if you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. God bless you, and I hope to see you again soon.